Good evening. It is just three weeks until Election Day, and the race for president shows no sign of slowing down. Uh, today, there was more talk of emails and rigged elections, all while President Obama stepped in to make his own observations on the political contest. We have team coverage this evening. Pat Kessler's here with a reality check on voter fraud, but we want to begin with Esme Murphy, who spoke with former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright today. Esme? That's right, Frank. Former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright appeared today as part of a foreign policy roundtable at McAllister College. It was the latest push by Hillary Clinton's campaign to lock in younger voters here. The woman who served as President Bill Clinton's Secretary of State offered a blistering assessment of Donald Trump's foreign policy qualifications. She cited Trump's opposition to the Iran nuclear deal. And for him to just say he's going to tear it up just shows not only that he's an idiot, but also uh, that, in fact, he uh, is somebody that doesn't understand how the system works. Allwright, who was Secretary of State from 1997 to 2001, defends Clinton's handling of the fallout for using a private email server during her tenure as Secretary of State. She has said she made a mistake. I think it's a very big deal for somebody to say they made a mistake. Um, and I think that that is what people should think about. Sporting both a Hillary and glass ceiling brooch on her jacket, Albright urged the mostly student crowd not to waste their votes on third party candidates. But for people that are in difficult and swing states, and especially in this election, a vote of conscience doesn't get you anything at this moment, and a no vote is a vote for Trump. The Clinton campaign has brought a parade of surrogates to Minnesota in recent weeks, including Chelsea Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders, appearances aimed at locking in young voters, many of whom had supported Sanders. Hillary Clinton is struggling with millennials all over the country and here in Minnesota. Now, Minnesota has not voted for a Republican for president since 1972 and Richard Nixon, but the race here is actually very close, about a four-point edge for Clinton, and that is definitely within the margin of error. I, it's almost kind of hard to believe. I mean, I, I, does the Clinton campaign to a certain degree worried about numbers like that in Minnesota? Well, I think it's fair to say that they are not taking Minnesota for granted. It's very clear with all these surrogates coming in here that they are working hard to make sure she does win Minnesota. And remember, Bernie Sanders crushed Clinton in the Minnesota caucuses, and Clinton is really trying to make sure she locks up all of those Sanders supporters. Interesting. All right, Esme, thank you.